Let's do the math. Our service mission here was supposed to last 31 souls. Um, pretty much eight months through, and we're looking forward to getting back home, seeing family and friends. Uh, this guy is kind of like the real-life Matt Damon character from The Martian. Hey everybody, this is Josh Ehrlich calling to you live. For eight whole months, Josh Ehrlich lived in a simulated version of Mars. NASA runs a variety of fake space missions on Earth. These simulations, called analog missions, allow scientists to study what a long space mission would be like for the crew. It's always been a little bit of a dream of mine. I mean, I, my, my dream is to become an astronaut and head to Mars. Ehrlich was the biologist on the crew of the High Seas Mission, a NASA analog designed to simulate living on Mars. The High Seas Mission has happened five times so far, always in a remote part of Hawaii. Like Matt Damon's character, Mark Watney, Ehrlich's focus was to grow vegetables inside the habitat. The crew could go outside of the habitat, but not without wearing hazmat suits, meaning no fresh air, and the only plant life the crew saw, touched, or ate came from Josh's little garden. To see and just to watch the crew members eat a vegetable for the first time, like a real vegetable, not something that's dehydrated or freeze-dried, it was a truly worthwhile experience as a crew member because you're providing to them. Not only is it logistically challenging to live inside a geodesic dome for eight months, even if you're on Earth, it can also do a number on your psychological state. One of the biggest concerns with a long space mission is the impact it has on the crew's mental and emotional well-being. It's one big psychological experiment. So, what's it actually like living in isolation with just five other people for eight months? It slowly adds up till you realize, man, I, I miss feeling the wind. I miss getting a sunburn. <laughs> I, I miss jumping into, um, you know, into the ocean. Josh's duty to his crew and to the mission kept him invested in the project. But dedication in itself can't be enough to keep everyone sane and on good terms with each other, right? Conflicts will come up. People will inevitably get on each other's nerves. Communication, when you all are on the same page, man, you can do anything. If there's something that bothers you, just say it. Um, a few words can go miles to getting getting things done, to accomplishing. Three, two, one. Woo! Josh says what he learned on this mission can be applied to anyone. These aren't just rules to live by when you're trapped in a dome in Hawaii, pretending you're on Mars. Always keep in the back of your mind that we're all in this together. And that, that can be spoken both for high seas, but also here on Earth. How we treat our planet, how we interact with each other, how we live with family members and friends, it's, we're all in this together. So let's, let's focus on, on going forward, not backward.